So in this presentation, we're going to talk about a character which uh, today is pronounced Zhu. Zhu in the first tone. And it's quite actually quite hard to translate it uh, as a standalone character. Um, it, is, it is a morpheme and it is a part of expressions or these sort of... Um, I really don't know how to translate this. I, I just have to give you an example. So, for instance, it is found in expressions like zhi nei, zhi wai, zhi shang, zhi xia, which means uh, within something or outside of something or above or, or, or below something. Uh, usually, um, or not necessarily um, uh, tangible objects. So it can be abstract, it can be age, like within a certain age or above a certain age and so on. Now this character originally, in classical Chinese or you know in Chinese that was spoken uh, around let's say 500 BC, this character was a very very frequent, very frequent character character, and it had at least three different meanings. So the original meaning of this character was to go or to walk somewhere, and uh, the character used to be just a picture of a of a foot or a footprint, right? And then it very very probably by sound loan, it adopted two other quite abstract meanings, and the first one was uh, the sort of like the possessive particle, something uh, that in English we can translate as apostrophe s. So, for instance, I don't know Peter's car or Susan's um, I don't know um, table, um, and the second abstract meaning that it had or that it acquired uh, was the third person pronoun. So uh, he, she, it. I think that the most frequent one was it like pick it up or something like that. So the character was used for these three different meanings. And the two abstract meanings, I think, that were associated with this character because of, uh, of, of sound um, resemblance. So that means that the way uh, the word to go was pronounced in ancient Chinese was very similar to the uh, apostrophe S and to the third person pronoun. And because the two concepts were very abstract and didn't have the character yet, they just assigned this character to go uh, to, to these two other meanings. So why I think it is important to to always not always but mm, most of the time talk about character etymology and and basically to explain what characters used to look like earlier and what they meant and how these meanings and um, and their their meanings and shapes transformed is that whenever basically whenever you look at any character today and this is a very good example of it um, and and you you hear its meaning or someone tells you its meaning very often it's extremely hard to for you to figure out how that meaning associates to the character when clearly if I tell you that this character today means this relative clause within or inside of a certain age group there is nothing in these one two three strokes uh, that would in any way indicate that uh, you know this this was the case even if I told you that this character actually originally meant to go you still you still would have a, a huge problem basically explaining to me why these three strokes, or, or to anyone, why these three strokes mean to go. And so, but when I tell you that originally it meant to go, and it was a picture of a footprint, which was then further, further simplified down and uh, formatted and then simplified and adapted to new scripts. Um, for instance, the uh, the seal script version of the character, and I, use, I like to use this color for the seal script. We tried to do my best job in writing the seal script here. So it looked something like this. This was the seal script version uh, of the character. And then it, there was, I'm not really sure what type of a script it was, but I remember that there was one type of the character which, I mean, one form of the character which was written something like this. And then it was basically, then later it uh, finally got this final, got into this final, its final form. So, what you see here basically is a super, super simplified version of what this character used to look like earlier. All right, let me show you real quick how to write this character. This is the, this is the easy part. Um, although maybe, maybe not so evident, but uh, it is a character that uh, comprises of three strokes and three strokes only. Um, it's, you basically write it like this. One, two, this is one stroke, and then three. Let me do that one more time. One two, and three. Now, if you are, uh, I'm sure that 
99% uh, of uh, Chinese, when they write it, they only write it in two strokes. When they write it with a, uh, like, with a pen on a piece of paper, and they do it like this. One and two, like this. They connect these, the, like the remaining uh, strokes into just, just one fast uh, and simple stroke. All right, so, so much for uh, this character. I hope you enjoyed the presentation, and uh, I will see you in the next one.